Alrighty, folks, I'm the Mother Load. We'll be joined by Head I Can't Hear pretty soon, and we are live here with our very first War Fork King of the Hill event. We're calling it King of the Keep because we are the Keep and we're presenting it, so fuck yeah. I am very much looking forward to this. We have quite an interesting group of people that will be playing today, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's get over to the action. So you can see our list here of players. We got T Zero and Igrax. So I'm gonna kick it off. Then Hadakant, Nate, Spaced, Gucci, Nutter, X24, Violent Heart, and Zeb. So it's gonna be a really fun night. Really cool duels. And we're getting started. <laughs> Just kidding. Games are tied. Game over. I'm gonna suggest the first map since I said I would pick it. And actually, I say we just roll with this map, because it's awesome. <sighs> if they want to start, we won't wait on Hadakant. We'll just roll with it. I'm here. Oh, there you are. Cool. Well, we're on. We're alive on the air. So as soon as these two guys are ready to roll, I say we let them have at it. Absolutely. So this is going to be interesting. I know both of these two guys are very recent joiners of the War Fork uh, game in general. Get ready to fight. It looks like they're ready to go. Three, two, one. Fight. And they're both high pingers from Europe. <laughs> and we're playing in Dallas, but it doesn't look bad at all, really, so far. T0. Not too, much, not, not too much of a decent. It's already got a fat stack of weapons here. LG and Railgun. Or Electro Bolt, or whatever you want to call that damn thing. Yeah, it's Electro Bolt. And neither one of them are super familiar with the item timings, I would imagine. T0 has already got mega health, and he's making his way towards armor. He wants to fight, though. Surprised didn't go for the yellow armor. Oh, there it goes. Oh, snap. Yep. Kreiser is, that was really smart, man. He just based himself right there. He didn't expect the rockets to come at him, which he was right. Held him off with the LG, but he did a lot of damage in that fight. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, sh he just jumped right over him. What is he doing? I've been there, like, last night with Spaced. I did that many, many times. We, like, run right into each other. We, neither one of us wanted to fight. You just hop over their head. Yeah. Keep it moving. <laughs> you gotta pick and choose, you know? Gentlemen's, it's a gentleman's duel. Nice, we got zero with the first kill of the match, it looks like. Yep. He just took a, uh... Rail, then missed, and then he did the Kilson Shuffle, and it made me really happy. He's just like shaking your head. Oh! You can tell what's going on here. Need some rockets, though. Let's get over. I'm going to switch to Simon's POV. Or Kreiser. I got to call him Kreiser Man here, because that's his IGN now. Alright. Oh, he's not going to go for the health. That's a risky decision. He's putting some rails on him. So, Chrysler's got red armor now. Good LG. Rockets are not connecting, so switch to the LG. Good move, man. Get that health. Let's see if he does. He, he's not even worried about that. He's like, I'll get it when I feel like it. Mega health is up. Yeah, he better go get it. I, I'm not sure. Can't make a decision, and he's going to give it up. No! Oh, wow. Beautiful. Catch him with the LG. Get him with his pants down. That was a risky investment, but yeah, no, it worked out. I mean, sometimes it works out. There's a lot of LG to eat. Hit him with that rocket. Red should be up. Nope, I'm wrong. I guess Zero must have picked it up some point. Good attempt at a rail there. 
I mean, one, one sec, or a me, uh, red shields are up and mega health. I'm pretty impressed by the fact that he's just he's still walking with ten health. There we go. Got mega. Take that yellow. Avoid the hockey pucks. Not always easy to do, especially on that that one ramp is like the worst spot to get hit with pucks on this map. Oh, there we go, Kreiser. They just seem to like kind of bounce over the stairs right into your face every time. Or if you turn around, they're just gonna hit you in the ass. Yeah. You're Canadian, you know how a puck in the ass feels, yeah. Oh, it's oh, it's it's. If you're it's not on. wearing your hockey pads, it's. Rough. You do not want to get pucked in the ass, dude. <laughs> I mean, unless you're into that. That's okay too. Nice rocket. Bounce him off the walls and he didn't take Mega. I guess he just didn't see it or hit the dodge button too early. Good rocket. And Kreiser finishes him off. This is going to be interesting. What if Kreiser ends up being like really good and we just seated him too early and he mows down you and spaced? Either of these guys. I wouldn't be surprised either way. It's a pretty even match so far. We're just not seeing any advanced like war fort movement out of them, which is okay. Like that's how everybody is when they first start. I'm gonna go back to zero here. See if he can end this tied up streak they have going on. Forty five health. Oh, this is dire straits, man. Beautiful. So I got to pick the first map, and then whoever wins this will be the incumbent map picker. Welcome everybody who's joining in to the stream. Hope you enjoy the show. Nice LG, man. Even from the rocket, like it didn't take him out. 11 health for T0. Kreiser better jump on that monopolize on. If he doesn't monopolize now, he's not going to be able to get park placed, dude. It's going to be really rough. <laughs> Good LG. And Simon's LG is on point. Especially, they're both high pingers. Each of them pretty even, 140, 130. But this game does pretty fucking well. Like, I have no issues with it. Really. I don't want to play over 100 ping, but if you gotta, it's not like the end of the world. Oh no, we, like I was playing earlier on like a 150 ping just to test it out, and like, if you hit, if you hit them, you'll hit them, it's, there's no weird having to lead the shot kind of stuff. Oh, I just can't connect with those rails, dude, that sucks. Let's see if we can get a fight in the hallway here. Nice return rail. decision going back on that violent heart i got your pm i can see the timings but i don't know i'm looking at the screen with the action the big screen too and i'm not looking left so it's there's no excuse for me not seeing the item timings you're right let's fix that mega red armor up and red armor's up in 10 seconds now there we go that's what i'm talking about much appreciated i would never be the half the man i am without violent heart that's not the point. The point is, this fight is not going well for T Zero. He's got a good armor stack, so hopefully he can get to this health. But he's nice to start rail. Those. Yeah. Oh, he got it. Yeah. I was yeah. just going to say he needs to start landing them, and there he goes. Yeah. He's still got only 45 health though, and it's going to be a problem, especially right here. He did escape through the teleporter. Very nice. Kreiser's at 13 health, so that's going to be pretty risky for him right now too. It's risky business. We'll go now over his POV. He's going to take Mega. Just like that. That's all it takes. Stacks have turned. The tide has shifted. Now let's play games. Uh, we got 23 seconds until Red Armor comes back up. And we're still waiting on Simon to count down and free up that Mega Timer. Wow. I'm so good at casting. See my timings? Perfect. Very, very nice reel. That was freaking like he just sat there and waited for him to jump into the area. Like, this is 
zooming in for the LG. <laughs> I never do that. Me neither. I never even thought to do that, but it uh, totally worked for him. Yeah, fat stack for Kreiser. Another good rail. You hit him right on the toenail. Usually you gotta pay somebody if you want them to touch your feet like that. But. I mean, if you could find that special person who's willing to trim your toenails, that's what we're doing. We're finding people the loves of their lives in this game. Secretly, it's a uh, date night. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what's gonna happen on here. All right, eight to three. Man, Zero's gonna have to do something to really catch up. Really good rail. He's yeah. taking a lot of rocket damage, and there it goes. We still got a minute left. So can we get four frags in a minute to go? Here we go. Well, there's one, maybe. Along. He's gonna make it out of here alive? Yeah. Nope. nope. Oh. Alright, we'll go over to Zero and see if he can make this comeback. Yeah. Slowly oh, creeping up on him. Yeah, yeah, that's all it goes. Good. Yeah, put it in there. I'm not biased. Just trying to keep up with him. Very nice hiding spot there, but wrong weapon. <laughs> Just like that, we're 7 to 8 with 30 seconds to go. Yeah. Oh, I hope they don't go into double overtime. <laughs> We've seen that far too many times in the past week You've or so. You've seen it far too many times. I've never had that. <laughs> I've seen it enough times. Well, in the period of two days, you have to happen three times. Oh, Kreiser with a good hide. Twelve seconds. Can he hold off? He's got to execute here. And Simon just jumped over the rocket. T zero right there is not going to go down without a fight. But Simon is able to pull off the rail. And that was a really good game to start off with. That was fantastic. And you're going to have to face Kreiserman, aka Agrax Simon, now. Oh, nice. Right on. Okay, I'm going to go jump out of the chat so I'm not, you know, cheating. Yeah, don't cheat. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, zero's out. Let's see. Simon gets map pick. Oh, man, that was close. I'm pretty impressed by both of them. Like I kind of expected, given how recently they both joined into Warfort, I, I expected a little bit more sloppy of a match, but I think they both, you know, Really pulled it off here. He wants DM5. Is this DM5? I keep forgetting the names of the maps. I'm so new to this. Let's try it out. Map. Probably going to mess up uh, what maps I choose to going through the tournament. Oh, no. I'm an idiot. I can't call a vote. Why is that? Somebody point out to me what I'm doing wrong. Are we already on DM5? Am I a complete moron? Am I tripping? Yeah, thank you. That's what I was thinking. Like, we're already on DM5. We can't change to DM5. Much appreciated, man. Pick a different map. Get these two gentlemen set up the right way. 
We're going to go to DM6. A player called a vote. There we go. Game over. It's okay if your hands are shaking, man. I've been there. I think everyone here has been there many times. Like you did you played really well, especially considering how new both of you guys are to the game. I was super impressed. So no worries. We'll go Fraggers. This is a really fun map. It's uh it's interesting. It reminds me a lot of I don't know. Actually, I'm not even going to say, because I really don't know. It reminds me of something, and I don't know what it is, and that is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just like the verticality of it. Like, you have three stories, basically, of play. More if you can jump up onto the air conditioning ducts. We'll do one quick thing. I'm going to freeze the screen on you guys. We'll take zero out of the list. Okay. Back to the action. Another thing that's going to come in heavily is that orange health in this map. It's always a way to go. You can just hop right over that edge, and it'll happen in the middle of fights. I'm sure we'll see that. They just hop right up over that ledge as they're having a rocket fight, such as you're seeing now, and all of a sudden, a guy will have 50 more health than you expected. They'll fight over it. I have another sip of tea while I wait on these guys to ready up. Get ready to fight. Well, Three, I guess that's two, that. Still gonna have a one, sip of tea though. Fight. You are tied for the lead. Okay, Hattican's gonna have rockets right off the bat here. And somebody's gonna have to take a major item. Real quickly, I hope they don't miss that. Kreiser was an amazing rocket, but he can't defend it off here. Just Hattican. One health. Gotta keep it keep it moving, buddy. Stay alive, don't drop too fast. And he's gonna take red. Fairly late in the game. I do like the delay on uh, items in this game. Like, it's really cool how you can already have a fight going um, before it. Because nobody's prioritizing, like, okay, I gotta go straight for my item. As opposed to most Quake games. The LG coming out. Had a camp with a nasty rocket. He's going to back it up here. I see you, but I can't get my eyes on you. There we go. Another good rocket. Watch Kreiser here. Really good rocket. That's a point on the board for Kreiser here. See if he can stack back up. Mega is waiting for you, pal. Take it. Take it. Still got a while before Red's up, so we have a good long time for these two guys to fight a bit. See if he can catch him on the backswing here. No, he's going to back it up. He, he really likes this spot. He likes to sit behind these pillars and wait. But I think Hedekant is on to his uh, plan here. Four seconds to red. I'm gonna switch back to Kreiser a bit. Nice rocket. Back to head again. A dukent. I gotta I gotta emphasize the ooh. I know he likes that. New 
if you will continue to control Red here. Not seeing a lot of rails at all, really. Maybe, oh, well, just as I say that, we get one. Is he still listening to me? He's hanging on to the rail a little bit too much there for close quarters, but it works out for him. He's able to get the LG damage in. Finish him off. Four to one. We're only six. Yeah. Got six minutes to go. Over six minutes to go. He wants it. Take it. This is a fun little jump to have to make. for Hattican. He knew he was going to take that LG damage uh, as he was already going for the orange. So he made it out with a pretty decent stack still. He's got 10 seconds till Red's up. He's going to be in place. Yeah, probably will be with that fight. They're going the way it did. Nope. Kreiser got the red armor spawn, it looks like. Interesting. We'll go back to him. Watch him run away. Turned around and defend himself. Dukin did a little juke move there. Nice. The rockets from both of these guys. Some plasma damage, but he's only got 69 health. Which is probably where he's most comfortable, if I had to imagine. Nice direct rocket from the Dukin there. Back to him. Beautiful chasing rail. <laughs> Do you get with the great rockets and takes mega health? He's going to run over here and try to take red as well. He will. Good rail. Two good rails in a row. Can he get a third? No. We need the rockets out. And it's another successful frag for him. Riser, he's looking for Omega, but he won't find it until that countdown timer even starts. Got to knock it out of Hadou Kent. Ooh, get out of the way of those rockets. Bud. He's gonna get some armor. Hopefully he can set up for an attack. Try to get some frags in here, but when you got LG rail like that coming at you, it's just so hard to keep your bearings. He needs a major item. He needs to yeah, use the rocket launcher. And that'll be that. Good trap from Hadouken. He attempted a rail there and just didn't work out the way he wanted it to. Hey Capelli, what's up man? I just saw you in the chat. Glad to see you checking us out. Come on, let's finish this fight. Mutual frag. The scores will not change. You can still get about 20 seconds before that red's gonna come up. Six till Mega. Let's see what choice he makes. And he's gonna back it up. He's got it. Oh, oh, don't do it, man. Go back. Do it. Yes, there he goes. Good drop there. Not the best damage so far. Good rocket here. Red's going to Hadouken. And 
and that's that. Rocket launcher prevails again, as does item timer. As always. 65 health. He did not make the jump. Now he did. Good job. Let's go back over to Kreiserman here. Good LG. Gonna be a red armor pickup for Hadouken here. Beautiful. Had <laughs> the rocket him right into the teleporter and turned him around. He's got him behind him now, but he does have Mega, so if he can get out of this room without getting rocketed too bad, pucks everywhere. Oh, mother pucker, he's saying to himself right now. Nice. Good attack here. I really like to see action like that, man. He knew. I just go through this teleporter. I'm going to come out right on top of him. He's still looking down. Caught Hadouken off guard a bit. And he's got this LG damage coming at him. 61 health. Nope. That's a rail. That's all it takes. It's really frustrating. Got. 45 seconds to go. Guys can string something together. Hadouken again gonna take red. It's just so dominant at the item timing so far. Good rocket. LG comes out. Kreiserman could not make the escape. That'll be that. I'm gonna go ahead and call this GG. We got 30 seconds to go. If he can get 13 frags all of a sudden, I mean, I'll give you 100 bucks. Still, though, well played. Especially considering, like, Hadouken's been, like, practicing like crazy. I know Kreiserman very recently picking up the game. Next up, we'll have Three, Nate. Two, one. Game over. Thanks. Gonna take uh, Simon off the list here. Back to the action. What's up, Capelli? Uh, anybody who doesn't know who Capelli is, he's uh, doing doing the God's work over there, going back through all the cool retro shooter games on his stream. Highly recommend giving him a follow. Really, really cool stuff, and his uh, beautiful accent is also well worth listening to in my opinion i like it it is a bit funny though just kidding you're cool man you're the best oh snap what are we doing here a can what's your map map with the red armor jump <laughs> what map do you mean man dm2 is that what we're talking about here you you want warfork arrow walk Let's uh let's try to get Nate in here, folks. Message Nate. Message Nate. I'll tab over. Let's see. At Nate, you have three minutes. Tops. So how's chat doing? How you guys uh hanging in there? Having a good Saturday? I hope so. I woke up way too late. I scheduled this tournament for like five and then woke up at three thirty and I was like, oh shit. I had thirty messages from people about this tournament. I had to kick it into high gear, make some tea, crush some breakfast. It's fun times. Nate, Nate's here. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and call the vote. Go to DM2. 
la dream on. A player called a vote. Game over. There we have it. Now, Nate has assured me he's top tier noob, which should make him better than Hadouken. But we shall see. I'm a low tier, may maybe lower mid tier complete noob myself, so no disrespect meant by that comment. Really good movement right off the bat there, here, so. See if Hadouken can play at a higher level. Hope he didn't get lazy there after that first match. Nate's got some crazy sensitivity going on here. He really knows what he's doing. This is going to be really, really fun. You can already tell. Yeah, dude, death to that night, but I agree. Once again, thank you everybody for coming to check out the tourney. Just a cough, it's not a proper tourney. But a good showcase. Get some action going. We plan to have a proper, uh, more organized tournament here pretty soon. But we still got some kinks to work out to make sure it goes smoothly. Alright, they're readied up and ready to roll. We'll follow Nate to start off with. Fight. You are tied for the lead. Nice rail right off the bat from Hadouken. He's got him in dire straits here. 75 health only, but he's quickly able to stack back up. And he'll probably be in place for red armor. Oh, looks like they're going to fight over the mega health. I've seen some superior movement out of Nate here, though. Made a lot about his skill level, I'm not sure. Just like that, he's got both major items. Wow, nice trade of the rocket and the rail there, each of them eating some dust. Nate's already on route to get back to red, and beautiful switch around to take out how do you count with that rail. Escape this. Hadouken's gonna chase, it looks like. Nope, just pucks coming through. They're both blue. Good direct rocket there off the corner. Nate is just gonna camp the Mega. It's up. Excellent timing there. And back over here. Try to get red. It's in three seconds, so it looks like Hadouken's going to have the advantage unless Nate can get back over there. And that might be the case. Hadouken backed out of the room. Nate able to scare him away. Can he get this LG damage in? No, he's going to take red armor. And the rails are just not connecting here. He just needs to execute. Let's go over to Hedekant's point of view. He's got four health. Just picked up some armor. This is, uh, this is dire straight stuff, but he's, he's holding his own. I mean, we're two minutes in. He's only got two frags down. Anything could happen, especially in Warforged. Oh, the Streamlabs Nightbot. I agree, they're annoying. Really nice LG frag there. It's gonna go for red, he's taking a lot of rocket damage, and that'll be that. Again, four frags down, only three minutes in. Good rockets. Very nice rocket, but somehow he's gonna walk away. From that fight. Hopefully Hoodie can't can try to get a refrag before he stacks back up, but there's no promises here. Red is up. 
Can he get there? I'm not sure he's aware. There goes Mega, and there goes that rocket for six frags. Still over six minutes to go. Good rail. Slow it down a bit. Maybe change the pace up. See if you can come up with a new strategy. Something I notice a lot in Warf Work is that people are not shy about just moving around really fast and making a lot of noise. And it leads to it leads to the ability, like if you do slow down the pace, you can really kind of think your way through, listen out for where they're gonna be, make an informed decision about when and where to attack. And then occasionally you just get two guys that just really know how to move and sound goes out the window. They're just moving. The speed of light. And unfortunately missed that rail and it's going to cost him. Go back over to Nate's POV here. Take red. Fully stacked here. Nothing to worry about except for executing the attack. Catching him with his pants down, hopefully, uh, pretty soon. Duke can figure out a way to get past this or like just pick up a major item when he's not completely compromised. The last time we saw him pick up red, you know, he had 25 health and just got caught with the rockets. It's always a really hard battle to overcome. Nice rail. This could be the start of it. Nate's still holding it down over here at Red Armor. Back to a full stack. And that LG's gonna be that. Just fully in control, Nate. Sounds like Hadouken just came up the jump pad twice. Nate not even going to try to have to capitalize that. Just face it off right here, put him down with the LG, and go pick up the rest of his stack somewhere else. Wow. Just like he knew exactly where he was standing. That's incredible. Just barely missed the puck there. Hadouken finally in control of Mega. Let's see if he can piece something together. Try to come up with an attack. Back over to Hadouken. Not able to hit that rail. Good rocket though, but the LG will eat you alive in this game. And you cannot let someone hold that LG on you. You better put a rocket right in their face or retain the favor and hope your stacks will do. And your aim. I don't disagree. Zeb is an OG vet, man. I'd be really interested to see how he fares and I'm also, highly interested to see how uh, Violent Heart, uh, you know, comes in. I'm sure he'll have a plan of some sort to try to exploit any weaknesses that Zeb may have, which are few and far between. But it's going to be a good finals match, I think, if it comes down to that. Because anyone, anyone here could uh, potentially dethrone either of them. It's a matter of how it goes. You can negative one to eleven. We got. Two and a half minutes to go. It's, uh, it's not looking bright, but hey, you know, he played very well in his first round. Plus, he's the man, and I love him. But, uh, yeah, Nate definitely uh, showed his worth thus far. Not able to make that jump to red, and Nate's going to capitalize, take the red armor. Good rocket. Nate, expert move there, did not come back at the jump pad and knew exactly how to fall. 
was able to come right through and exploit Hedukent trying to aim up there. Beautiful rocket from Hedukent. Doesn't pay off though. Too much self damage probably. We'll never know. Roll the tape. Let's get that instant replay action. I wish that were a thing right now. Maybe someday. Hadouken <laughs> says GG. That's okay. He can call Mercy if he wants to. No one's going to be upset. Negative 2 to 12 with a minute to go. I mean, it's uh, the, the odds are not in your favor. I understand. No problemo. The two kids just wants to make this jump. I guess that's it. Let him ride it out. <laughs> Self damage death, negative three now. Come on, man. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Boring. So that will bring us to Nate versus Spaced. Spaced, another one of these, like. This is what we're seeing in War Fork lately, is like, a lot of players left Three, for a long time. Two, They're playing War Sal for many years. Game Spaced, over. long time veteran of the War Sal game, who's just kind of returned with the new influx Good of players. Game. It's really exciting times for War Fork. So I'd be really, really interested to see how that comes into play. We're not going to see as much like crazy advanced movement out of him, we're going to see like I'm assuming a little bit more sneaking. A little bit more playing mind games with Nate here, but either of these two guys could easily Good just game. take it and run with it. So I'll leave you guys with that. We're going to take Hadoukant off the list here. Nate and Spaced. Space is already here. says DM5, so we're going to go back to DM5. We're probably going to see a lot of switching back and forth between DM2 and DM5. It's fair enough. It's just Slayer again. A player called a vote. Game over. Not sure what he said there. Something about can I switch. Hopefully he meant the map. Just uh, anyone viewing who's not aware, the, the map choices are DM1, 2, 5, 6, and 15. We'll go with fraggers here, have the auto chase going on. I'll manually switch as needed. Space is going to get warmed up. 
can tell you, neither one of these guys appear to be uh, noobs at all. <laughs> Nate, I messaged him earlier today, he asked me if he could join the tournament. I'm like, yeah, well, where do you think you should be seated? Because I've never seen him play. Came in with that crazy superior movement. I know Spaced uh, may have had a house party, so he might be off his kilter, but he's already looking like he's got a good warm-up going on. But you know shit happens. Welcome to everybody joining to watch. We're about to get started with uh, Nate versus Spaced. Just noticed a few more people popping in. Please ready up. You're on the vicious layer. How do you get you disconnected? What are you doing? Get in the voice chat. You need a co-commentator. Maybe he needs a break. I'd probably need a break after this last two matches too. The thing about King of the Hill is you play so many matches like directly in a row. Prepare to fight. Three, two. One. Here we go. Fight. Start off with space here. You are tied for the lead. Drops straight down. He's got his rail. He's got his LG. See if he can get to a rocket launcher. He does. And here's a, a man who knows exactly where to be and how to get there at all times. He's going to be right here for Mega Health. And the snot rocket going to push through. Nate will steal Mega. Where did space spawn at? See if he can get to red. Looks like Nate's already on it. Is he going to drop in and take? Nope. So space took red. Good LG there. Rail does not go the way he planned. A lot of self damage from that rocket. Good. Two good rockets. There goes space again. Two to one. Two minutes in. Oh man, space! You might have, you might have taken that health while you're at it. It's okay. Nate in full control of both items thus far. Pocket doesn't connect. I see some hockey pucks flying. Just trying to stay defensive, hold his high ground. Saw a return puck there from Spaced. Mm, really nice attempt at a rocket there. I don't think it connected. I didn't hear the sound. Let's get back over and watch Spaced a bit. He's looking pretty skinny here. And a good rail to finish him off. Space always the gentleman. He's like, nice shot, dude. You gotta be that way, man. Can't have any anger. NVZ, how you doing, man? Can't wait to hopefully we'll get you into the next one dude i, I hate the timing on you know signups and everything but we got the 10 players and i was like yeah i gotta go out to dinner tonight i don't want to be sitting at my desk too late that's what it really comes down to bro and space may be able to pull off a frag here nope it's four to one now for nate 38 health or 38 armor rather but still a fat stack of health Nice job. Let's take it slow, man. He's, he's not going to take it slow. Nate is always moving. That's one thing we notice about him. He's never one to sit around or camp on somebody. The magic man. Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me again. I'm going to do like the Quake Pro League and give all the, the Warsaw players... Or War Fort players in this case. Gotta give them all like cool nicknames. Call Nate the Magic Man. Just, it sucks when someone has an LG and you spawn in front of them. It's just no worse 
position to be in. That's going to be a suicide for space. Rocket launcher is all he had in that close quarters. It just, it just bees like that sometimes. Running away with it, Nate. Can't have that. We've still got a long match to go. I've seen far greater comebacks already today. Really good positioning there. Just hop off the wall, turn around, take your time, line up the rocket shot, and he puts space down. Really good timing to get there for the red armor. A good drop shot. All right, let's go over. Let's watch where space spawns. See if you can. Okay, armor right off the bat. Got to string something together here, pal. Good stack. Just need some weapons. Turn it around. Nate is just on fire with this LG. This man never misses. Human aimbot. Fifteen to zip. I should have seated this guy a little, like later on. Someone tells you a noob, just assume they're a mid tier. Yeah, it'll probably be a little bit into September before we even have another event, man, so no worries. Take care of your fam, NVZ. Yeah. Space just can't get any footing. Okay, good rocket to start off this fight. The rail is out, and a good frag from Space. Let's see if he can capitalize on this. Take it and run with it. Red just spawned. We heard it, but Nate was already there. The LG. This, this guy just like, he never misses a cell. It's insane. Good shotgun blast. Space is going to take it back. A little bit of control here. Yeah, it sounds like Mega just went. Good LG. Put the rocket on him. That's a little bit of self damage. One health. Space is going to go for it. And he fragged and hate. Took himself out in the process. Just like that, Space has red armor. Oh no, he's got to get eyes on him. Too many rockets flying in here. And Nate goes down again. Space is coming alive here in the last four minutes of the match. It's like, sorry bro, just woke up. <laughs> nice. Puck to the back there. Good rocket. Switch through every weapon in the book. He's going to go down. Nate only with 55 health here. Got 15 seconds till Mega spawns. I think red is up. So who's going to take the red is the question. Five seconds to Mega. Not red's gone, buddy, and Mega's about to be gone. It's a huge disadvantage to have. Maybe you can capitalize on this fight. Positioning, not exactly perfect. Nate taking it with the shotgun there. Two minutes to go, 19 to 4. Good rocket from space here. The LG is going to tear him up, but he's got Mega. Can he capitalize on this fight? Just not have the weapons to do it. Snot rockets going everywhere. Okay, let's see if you can get a refrag here. Nate, 22 health. Going to pick up some small healths here and red armor, so it's not looking all that good for a return. Already stacked completely back up. Space 
Just goes down again. 21 to 4. Just over a minute to win it. Nate's not even going to follow him through there. He's like, man, I'm comfortable where I'm at. Ain't no need in playing games. Good rockets from space. See if you can finish them off. A lot of their fights come to here, but nope, the rail will prevail. It's an old proverb. I think uh, Benjamin Franklin said that. Yeah, Nate. Nate's like a, I'm like upper tier noob. I was like, you know, because we don't have an Elo score to go on in terms of uh, you know, how to seed everybody. So I was just kind of like, kind of going on faith for this first event. <laughs> we'll know next time. But yeah, just like, take them on, take everybody on their word Game and their over. perceived skill level. But it looked like uh, Nate is definitely not a complete noob here, and if he is, he's a very talented one. So we'll move on. Nate will face Gucci. Good games to both of these guys. Take space out of the rotation. Gucci, we're looking for you, bud. Need you to join up. I got a PM. And the password. Yeah, just one second here. Oh, Hattie can't. You're back? Yeah, I can send him the password. Who is it up? It's uh, I already Gucci. sent it to him. He's done. Okay. He's in. No, I, I, I needed to sit back for a minute and watch that next match. I'm like, what is he doing so well that I'm just completely lacking in? His it's movement holy moly. is insane. His dude. movement, his aim, his, his tracking with the, with the laser is just phenomenal. Holy moly. That and just the timing with the power-ups, like, I, I couldn't believe it. Alright, Nate and Gucci. No, it became very clear because, like... He said, you know, I'm kind of like upper tier noob. I'm like, okay, I'll put him near, you know, the Hattacants and the Spaced and see how it lines up. And like, as soon as you guys started playing, I was like, holy shit. You made a bad decision. I, I would have been more, uh, like probably comparable to Spaced. Like, I'm, oh, I'm, no, I, sure. I, I, I have beaten him before, but he has beaten me way more times. But still, I, I feel like I would, like, I could pull it off. No, it happens, dude. I mean, it, it, oh, I we know. don't have an ELO, so like, I had to kind of like go on faith. That's what I was just saying to the chat. <laughs> it's all good. Well, somebody will eventually dethrone him. Unless he holds it the whole night, that'll be crazy. We're just going to be switching back and forth between DM2 and DM5, man. <laughs> Until we get up to like the other players that have practiced the other maps. A player called a vote. Let's see how Nate votes here. Alright, two votes, over. yes, we'll go with it. I think Gucci's gonna be a little bit of a shit talker. <laughs> I can just kind of tell. Hopefully, he keeps it cool. Go to the Fraggers Chase Cam here. I I love this spectator yeah, HUD. It's fight. like literally the best Three, I've ever dealt with. Two, one. I'm guessing fight. you got rid of like the text above, you like tied the top half the screen. Or... I don't know. Can you see the stream? I haven't even looked. 
laughed at it yet. Oh, that's all good. <laughs> I don't know. I just mean like, like yeah. Anyways, they got he's, in. He's and... got a couple frags on him. That was that was impressive. Though, I couldn't even get. Him. Oh yeah, he should have been seated higher, and he will be if he plays again. <laughs> <laughs> My mistake, everybody. Yeah, oh, no, no mistake. This is just a fun free-for-all night. Whatever. Who cares? That's what I'm saying. Shit happens. Yeah. Got some action right off the bat with both of these guys. Yeah, Gucci is like right off the bat controlling the, all the items on Nate, which is uh, definitely, if nothing else, we're seeing a shift in the, the level of skill here. It's like when you go from like no one can take an item off this guy to like this guy has complete control. And whatever the case, we need to make sure Nutter's awake because he said he was going to oh, take a nap. A, that was a nice uh, ball jump there. I didn't oh, yeah. Do that. This is our opportunity to like. Peek out the other talent. Mm -hmm. Nice rocket there. Nate coming in hot here, man. Can he finish him off? No, Gucci's gonna get on out of dodge. Get the hell out of dodge. Jesus. There you go. <laughs> I was so flabbergasted by like that jump he made off the wall there. I was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Hurt my brain. I can't think about talking. Nice rocket there from Nate. <laughs> Gucci, I think he paused to type there or something. Ended up taking another frag off of him because of it. Right off there. That was a direct rocket in the most centered rail I think I've ever seen. Mm, Gucci right back in position to try to get off that rocket, but it doesn't work out for him. Perfect positioning, dropped right on time for the Mega and got the rail off. Six to zip. Coming up on the four minute mark here pretty soon. Beautiful rocket. Have a rail while he's at it too. Trying to get his crosshair on him. Good rocket. Is that a close range rail that we just saw there? Like, point blank railed him? Nice. Let's go back over here. I want to watch Gucci a bit.
Uchi using the snot damage there to be able to take the uh, 50 health didn't uh, didn't pay off in the end. Another suicide for Gucci there. He's that rocket in his hands. He gets a little excited. He can pull this off. Nope. Nate is perfectly com comfortable just like standing right in front of you and waiting for you to move in front of his crossing, which I like to see. The amount of times I killed myself off of trying to shoot him with a rocket at close range was, I think, three times. This is Gucci's opportunity if he wants to capitalize and get a frag in. One health, 28 armor. Still nothing to phone home about. Don't lose this fight, bud. Every time he doesn't frag him, it's just a like it, I, I lose a little bit of like a heartbeat. It just goes away. Five health. He's like totally comfortable here. And he's like 55, 39, whatever. Just keep it moving. Nate's probably one of those guys that, like, you know, when you say, like, if you're nervous giving a speech, picture everyone in their underwear, and he just pictures himself in his underwear. Like, no, I'm good. Comfortable. Good rocket there from Gucci. Wow, man, lobs the puck right over without even having eyes on him. Just able to hit him right in the head. Get that full damage and the frag. Good defensive rockets here. Gucci self damaged himself, I guess, jumping off that wall. Recovery. He had like no health left. And he just dealt with it. Yeah. I'm saying he's, he's more comfortable without his pants on. It's like armor? <laughs> Where I'm going, we don't need armor. I think Gucci got the mega health there. He did. Just took way too much damage right off the bat. Something I love about this map is you can very much like, yeah, you can take the mega health, you can take the red armor, but it's very easy to punish someone if you catch them in the right position. Control can shift very quickly on this map. This is a damn near perfect duel map. Beautiful rocket. Alright, minute to go. Let's see if Gucci can uh, get out of this deficit at least. You don't want to owe frags at the end of a match. Two things are for sure. Frags and uh, taxes. That'll be that. Sayonara, Gucci. This kind of bums me out. I was hoping we'd get Gucci versus Nutter at some point.
Because Gucci by itself is all Gucci, and Nutter by itself is just, you know, a little nuts, but a <laughs> Gucci Nutter, there's something to talk about. Right, Nate will prevail. Keep on moving. We got up next. We got Nate and Nutter. Oh, is it? Nutter. He's next. Okay. Sure, we PM him, ping the shit out of him if he's not here already. Can you message Nutter the connect and password, please? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I just I couldn't find him. I don't have him on my list. So I had to look through messages there. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. No, it's not a problem. It's troublesome. How is Nate this good? He doesn't know any of the maps. Like he's like, I don't know, I don't know what that map is. <laughs> He probably doesn't know the names, like, fair, like... Yeah, so. just plays a lot or something. Uh oh we gotta delete that. Oh, shit, delete that. Delete, delete, delete. delete there it, you it. go. There you go. There I'm you go. <laughs> okay, I think I got a handle on things. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> the grenade does kind of sound like a cash register. Thank you to the new followers there. Aha, cheers, and GG and VZ. I saw those just now. Eldritch. That's his endgame name? Oh shit, they know each other. Interesting. Was oh, that Nutter's in game name? It doesn't show online on uh, Discord, so I'm not sure if it's him. <laughs> ah. Okay. Well, I guess that settles it then. If he says he is, then he is. <laughs> Just trust him. Nutter's gonna call in like 10 minutes. He'll be like in chat, like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> nah, dude, you don't have to, don't worry about it. Maybe one more person that's the dual pool, anyways. <sighs> well, I had told NVZ, like, if somebody dropped, we'd squeeze him in there, especially since he's like pretty high tier player. Like, it wouldn't be hard to just kind of throw him in with the last few. <laughs> Nobody took the time to memorize the map pool. That's <laughs> eh, a new game. Well, new to a lot of people, new to me. <laughs> Yeah, they want the, the, the teen maps. A player called a vote. Game over! The M15. Finally, we'll see a new map in the rotation. Thank you, Ultraviolet. Now everyone knows. This is a really fun map. A little bit it's wider fantastic. range. It's a good free-for-all map, too. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just, yeah. 
all around fun. Give them a little bit more space too. These guys are gonna move a lot faster. Exactly. This is good. These guys know each other. They know how each other plays. We'll probably get a more interesting duel out of it. Prepare to fight. <laughs> Three. Let's go. Two. One. Fight. He's got work in five hours. Lead. This guy's not fucking around. He loves some more for it. Oh, right off the bat, we got it. A little bit of action to go off of here. Rail's not connecting. Nate. Stay in control. But Eldris is going to go ahead and take red armor. He's got to get some health to stack back up here. Not with a rail like that. You see a little bit of lag, not too major for Eldritch here. Oh, surfing on his head, man. Didn't pay off. Still looks cool. A little Joe Satriani action, man. Gotta surf on the alien. Are these people, what are these things? Are they aliens? I know there's pigs. Which makes sense. Like, war sow is in war pigs. But the people are just people. They're not like space people or anything. Except for, oh, there is a spaceship guy. Like, there's a guy that wears a space helmet. So there's that. Yeah. Yeah, so... Robot. Is he a robot? Is that the deal? Yeah. yeah Damn. Alright, well, he's surfing with the alien. I think that's the model I use. I never really know, because I don't ever see my own model. Got one frag on the board. I think we're gonna see generally a lower frag count just because of the nature of the map. Nate trying to land a rail there, but the LG is gonna prevail this time. So Benjamin Franklin was wrong about how the rail prevails. He went for a Hail Mary with that jump, dude, doing the kills and shuffle. Frustrated a bit. Why are you not moving? Time out. Can you do that? You can do that. What? This is new. Holy shit. Oh my god. Anything can happen. What are they talking about? Like. Oh my god. Banned. Uh. Do they Did both have to it? agree to the timeout? Or can you just at yeah. any point in time say timeout? Holy shit, people. Nah, you don't have to go without. I mean, if you could fix it really quickly. But a hundred and... What is it? A hundred and sixty seconds or something like that? Time in. Alright, never mind. Three, We're back. Back on the ball. Two, one. Match resumed. <laughs> the announcer. So excited. Like, Match it's resumed. <laughs> well, you learn something new every day. Just like that, like uh, whatever he fixed, if he even fixed it, he's got a frag on the board, and that's all that really matters to him, I guess. He's 
gonna have to give up red armor. Some of these jumps I like never even would have conceived of doing, you know? There's just so many options in this game with a wall jump. Yeah, there's everything. You, can get the right you have air control, you have basic straight, you have everything. You just do whatever the fuck you want in War Fort. War Fort. War Fort. Damn it. War Fort. Get it right. Just like that jump up the, the pipes, like as if they were a ramp. I never even would have thought to do that. It's incredible. Now I have exposed my noobness. It's okay. I love this game. I'm glad it's on Steam now. I'm glad it's getting the respect it's long deserved. Alright, we're gonna switch over to Nate's POV. I uh, say so we take it, we roll with it, we turn it into a major esport, we fill up arenas. Let's do it. This Next like year the finals will be in Bangkok. Violet Heart's picture will be on the on the side of a building. If I ever come to QuakeCon, we gotta do a land party for this. That would be great. Probably wouldn't be so hard to get it going, like just a big BYOC tournament. It's fun. Exactly. Five minutes in, we still one to one. Uh oh, I know there's some self damage involved in that fall. Can he get off a rail here? No. So many escape routes. It's gonna sit at one to one until we go into like five overtimes. Nate is in full control of the items here. So we got another eight seconds till red comes up again. It's a good time to get a fight in. Capitalize. Eldritch is moving away. It's the thing on this map, especially you like get into a fight, just turn around, and if you can haul ass fast enough, you can avoid the whole thing. There's not too many cutoff points where you can just like, oh he went that way, I'll spin around and meet him. Eldritch missed a jump with the red armor there, that's unfortunate. It happens. That's what Forrest Gump said, man. Shit happens. He's looking a little jittery. Somebody here has got to come up with a plan, man. Somebody's got to die. There's no other way around it. It's like they're doing a dance. Like, what, like, I'll stand on this side of the map, you stand on that side of the map. We'll never cross paths. Can't get that rail off. Nate is coming in looking hot with this LG. A lot of good rockets going on, but the shotgun doesn't connect, and Nate will take a second frag. Mega gets picked up, Eldridge all of a sudden in control, and now it's tied back up. Really nice, what, 180, smack you with the LG real quick finish there. Nate was being really nice and hopping through there and he's like, hey, you know, while I'm here, let's give this wall some head. It looks like it could use some. Shoot him right up. Good plasma damage here and Eldris goes down 3 to 2, 2 minutes to go, just under 2 minutes to go. Bad positioning, but Eldritch is, man, this guy's wall jumping like crazy. 
not enough to get out of that. We ran out of walls to jump off of. Come in with the LG. Too much plasma. Nate's plasma is a force to be reckoned with. She just knows how to use it. And abuse it. So we're gonna probably slow down the pace a little bit here. Back it up. Nope. Here comes a rocket from out of bounds. Not a whole lot to say about that fight. This one a little bit more interesting. The rocket. Gonna finish him off. Nate's gonna keep on moving. 40 seconds to go. It's a 6-2 lead. So much plasma damage and beautiful catch with the LG there to finish him off. Nate is an animal, dude. Yeah, no, I, th th yeah. This but, is gonna get really interesting. I can't wait, like, to see like if anybody can like can just overthrow him. I think uh, X24 is gonna give him a run for his money, just based on like kind of seeing the way he plays. Like X24 has got that really nice handle on the movement as well. Mm hmm. Oh, absolutely. So we're down to Nate, X, Violent Heart, and Zeb, and then we'll call it a night. And whoever uh, the, ends up as the last two, uh, that's going to be really, really interesting to see, man. Okay, X, you're up, man. Let's see ya. See so you get in here and boogie. I assume he knows the password because he set up the server. I'll be right back. A player no called a vote. X24 is in. Call the vote. DM1. One Game flew over. over. See what happens. It'd be really fun. Space GG earlier, man. I had no idea that Nate was going to... Um... He told me he was a noob. <laughs> He said, I'm an upper tier noob, and I was like, okay, you'll go in right with the space and the hat of cans. Boy, was I wrong. My bad. We're going to start off following X24 here. Nate needs a quick break. leave you here you can watch x24 warm up for a second i'm going to go bio and then we'll be right back with your match
have returned. Nate's probably still taking his break. Watch X warm up, man. This guy's got some incredible movement. Just like a dance. And Nate's moving around, too. Hey, man. Nothing wrong with being a little cold and hungover, though. Every once in a while. Now, you got some good frags, and you did better than uh, Hadouken did against him. So there's that. Nate's taking a smoke break again. It is Challenger's map pick, but Nate was like, he didn't know the names of any of the maps, and everybody's just been suggesting them to him, and he's like, okay, sounds good. That's how it's been going the whole time. And he's had absolutely no problem with it. Yeah, he's had no complaints. He's just like, here to play, so that's what it is. Yeah, Challenger's map pick, and then the final two, which Violent Heart will probably, if... I mean, it'd be one of you four. It'd be like incumbent picks first map, challenger picks second map, and then incumbent picks third map. But I mean, if you have a better system. If you want to pick, drop it. However you guys want to do it. Like I'm, sh I'm open to that. This is not like a. It's not like it's for money or anything. We're just trying to have a good time, showcase some good players. Absolutely. It's not strict. It's all cash, man. Prepare to fight. Three, two, one, fight. And we're off. We're tied for the lead. Following uh, X24 off the start here. Wow, Snot Rocket from all the way downtown right off the bat, man. You don't see that every day. X24 just in time to pick up his mega health. Got hung up on that wall. Or he meant to. Or to tell. I think Red's already gone. Sorry, bud. Three seconds and he'll be back, though. Let's see if he can keep it. Can keep a crosshair on him. So he moves out of the way. Long range fight here. Can I shoot you through this crack? Or offer you some crack? Anybody any crack? You lost the lead. Just like that, man. X is down by one. Nate dropping some nades on him right off the spawn. Good LG. This guy's trying to be just unreal. You watching X here? Nice rocket straight in the ass, man. It's exactly the kind of thing that X usually has to pay for, but got it for free today. Is looking for that red. He finally got his hands on it. He's got everything he needs to be successful here, including that rail that he just put on him. 
Oh, I pull out the LG, he does. Nate is like flying, dude. Just all across the place. Good rocket here from X. And the rail comes out and he finishes him off. He's got 50 health. And Mega is up right now. He'll take it. Just like that, X24 is back in the game, brother. He's got 15 more seconds for the red armor. Oh, just couldn't pull off that rail. It was such a beautiful attempt. I'm not rooting against Nate, but man, has he like been in here for a while. He's probably rooting against himself. I was like, dude, I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> Tired, my wrists hurt. Good rocket. And good positioning, too. Nice rail. Little LG tickle. Good attempt at a rail. He got out of the way of that rocket and put another rail on him. If he can corner Nate over here, he's going to have mega health. Oh, good return. Man, that's going to be a finisher right there. Nice. Yeah, if X24 was a, a pro wrestler, like his finishing move would definitely be the LG to rail combo. Good rail from both of them, man. They shot through each other's sights. Put it in the scope and in the eyeball. He's going to have to hunt him down here, hopefully. No, oh, Nate is not willing to turn around. He's going to try to make the complicated jump. He doesn't make it. Will pay for it. He gets off a rail right off the beginning here. X24 is going to take red armor. And have a pretty decent stack. Yeah. Beautiful rocket, LG to pick it up. Back to rockets. The rails start flying, but they don't connect. That one does. Nate is not playing around, man. He's like, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here, dude. You think I'm gonna stay for this fight? Crazy. And it's a win it. He's gone this far. He's, he's Go back to Nate. People like this map, man. It's fun. We're for DM fifteen. Nate catches a rail up the jump pad. And another rail hurt to the face from X24 and finishes him off with a rocket. 4 to 1, and X is hot right now. He's probably been warming up all day. He's been doing everything right so far. Well, except for that start where he suicided, but we're going to ignore that and pretend it never happened. Yeah. So, he, so he had to make up a two point, like, or definitely. Yeah. yeah. And he's already come back. Yeah. Paid his debt. Now he's here to play. Nate is uh, in a good position here to get a frag. If you just finish him off, that's all it takes. It both went. <laughs> Still going to count as another frag for uh, Nate. It was not a suicide. Three to six. Still got just under four minutes to go. Anything could happen, man. We've got the mega health advantage here. Rockets are flying. LG's coming out. Beautiful. Two health. You better stack back up really quickly here. Red armor is waiting on somebody. And Nate's gonna take it. All right. Nate is great. Oh. Racing for the mega health. X24 beat him to it. Nate's gonna back it up slowly. Play here in the bottom little part of the warehouse. Go up the jump pad. Try to put one in X, but he can't make anything land. And another expert move, like, bounces off the wall instead of hitting the jump pad again. Avoids having a fight when he goes back up. Thank <laughs> you. 
EX24 is friggin' working for it. I think he's gonna hold it. He might hold it. There we Whoa, go. beautiful drop rocket there, man. It's gonna need dental work. Capitalizes, like, even though he wasn't able to take the Mega, just put that rocket right on there and kind of negated at least part of it. Let's see what Nate's got here. No, he got all the Mega health. Had some armor to back him up there. Plasma. To the snot rocket. No more armor for you, bud. But X24 goes down. 5 to 8 with 2 minutes to go. Anything could happen here in Warfort, people. Yeah. Shouldn't have rocket jumped. Holy shit. It happens, dude. To the best and the worst of us. Especially the worst of us. The speed X24 can kind of get out of nowhere. That's what's really impressive. Is like X has not been playing Warsaw very long. He's an excellent Quake Champions player, you know, longtime Arena FPS guy. But like Warfork, not even Warsaw, you know, in his history, just very new to him. Completely, he took to the movement in this game like a duck takes to water. Red is up. X24 knows that. Is he listening to us? Beautiful drop rocket. LG's coming out. Plasma's not connecting, but the LG and the rockets are. And that's a final shot for the frag there. X24 continuing on, but once again, Nate gets the mega spawn, comes in. He's going to get this refrag? He does. 144 health. Can he get to some armor shards and hopefully capitalize on his newfound control of mega health? Uh... It's hard to do and there's that much LG flying at you. He's going to continue to push the fight. He took some self-damage from that rocket there and he's going to pay for it. And that's a six frag difference to make up in only 40 seconds. Seven. Seven now. Seven. Good God. Ah, ah, ah. Seven. Seven bats. All right, we're moving into closer and closer to our finals here. We got Nate gone. We got X24 versus Violent Heart coming up next. You need to start pinging around, let people know, like, yo, we're about to hit the grand finals. Let's see. Properties. I don't own many. Nate, sayonara, GG. Glad to have you. I just pinged Violent Heart. Should be coming soon. Oh, he knows. He's watching. <laughs> oh, okay. He'll get here when he feels like it. That's how Violent Heart rolls. Ladies and gentlemen, the king has entered the building. Ladies and gentlemen, the king has entered the building. Decide on a map.
A player called a vote. They want to go to DM5. Game over. This is going to be really fun, both of these guys. Um, Violent Heart, obviously a long-time veteran, Quake 4, Quake Champions, X24, somewhat his prodigy in a way. So it's going to be very interesting to see X24, like, maybe possibly dethrone the Master. We'll go to Fraggers here. Beautiful rail there. Do you can't you still hanging around? Taking a break. It's okay. I can do this by myself. I don't need you. No, no, it's, it's, sorry, I had my mic muted. No, it's okay. I'm just messing with you. I didn't want to disturb the, 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 the stream with vape sounds. Oh, it's okay. Just do it while someone's uh, using the LG and they can't hear it. Time it out. So what's your analysis? Who are you picking for this? Space, who are you picking for this? It's hard to say. Violent Heart, obviously the veteran here. But X24 is, again, taking the movement. You're going to see Violent Heart play a little bit more CPMA style. You're going to see X getting a lot more advanced movement in here, but we're going to see Violent Heart probably... Uh, I'm just going to assume he's going to outfrag it. He's going to play a little smarter. Get a little salt on him. But there's no rust on Russ. You've taken the lead! He's willing to take the fight. Can he back up fast enough to get to this mega health? He does. He jumps over the rockets and gets a rail in there too while he's at it. Fully in control of the items right off the bat here. Oh, every weapon coming out. Every one that's available to him anyway. Trying to fight for that red armor, but X24 was already in position and had the right weapon out to fend him off. Violent Heart... Not going to give up both items, though. And he just gets hit in the face with that hockey puck. Couldn't escape it. It's going right for him. He's just like, it's coming right for us! The hockey puck to the face hurts, too. Not just any other area. That's the, the worst place to get hit. Right. Fun way to start it off, just over a minute in, our score is 0 to negative 1. X24 made a boo-boo again. Yeah, it's still anybody's game at this point. Yeah, if you if you jump into an X24 match uh, towards the end, whatever score you see him with, it's uh, it's usually one more than that. <laughs> it's just a suicide somewhere there in the beginning before he gets warmed up. Good rocket damage here. Violent Heart with another shotgun and one and more to finish him off. They're just in time to take his red. Let's get over to X to see if we can pull it back together here. Good rocket. Violent Heart. 
staying on point here. Looks like Mega just came up and he's gonna back it up, moonwalk it over there if he has to. Does he want us to call him Violent Heart or Russell? Don't know. Doesn't seem to mind that Violent Heart's been on the marquee the whole time, so we'll roll with it. Immaculate item timing out of Violent Heart. And I believe this is kind of his, this is officially his competitive debut in Warsaw. Or in War Fork. Period. He's been taking his time, practicing up, getting a handle on the game. Mm. X is waiting for you, bud. It's not enough to fend off those rockets. And again, perfect timing on the red. That was a nice rail by Violent Heart. Oh, yeah. Perfectly placed rocket there. So he was blown up into the air, but X24 all of a sudden takes control of Mega Health. We'll go back to X again. Still got plenty of time to make up this deficit. Six frags. S just over six minutes to go. Oh, good drop shot here from Violent Heart. That'll be that. Back to him on the cam. I set the chase cam, and, you know, it's supposed to go back and forth every frag, and I try to go over to XT4, and then it just brings it back to Violent Heart every time. He's getting a whooping. Takes the Mega, though. A lot of rocket damage coming in, and that's another suicide for XT4. Wank, wank, wank. <laughs> Aim botted. Can't fuck with those close up rockets like that. Oh, Violent Heart a little bit over jumped his health there. He's in position. Try to get some action in here. Doesn't get that rocket. Hopefully, he can trap him on the other side of the tunnel. No. He's gonna wait. Wise move. Beautiful rail. And fragged him as he went through the teleporter. We're seeing a lot of moonwalking out of Violent Heart tonight. Says Billy Jean is not my lover, and this is not your red armor. Yeah. Oh my god. That was incredible. Do you see like he perfectly timed X? Knew he was going to jump in and try to get the red, so he shot the rocket up against the wall and got splash damage for it. 12 to negative 1. Yeah, we've, uh, we're graduating into a very different kind of skill level here. I'm highly interested to see how Violent Heart and Zeb do against each other. Given that Zeb is, you know, OG pro here in the Warsaw Warfort community. Violent Heart, a pro in a different way. <laughs> but nonetheless, he seems to have, uh... Started to master Warfort. <laughs> Try to get that return snot rocket, but X is already through the door. Oh, good dodge. Use of the dodge to get out of that rocket. Gets in place with his LG. Walking out of here with a pretty decent stack, nonetheless, and right off the bat, he's on X24 off the spawn again. Finishes him off. Every, uh, every like, three fights, X24 has a chance to get in there and capitalize like you just saw. So he's finally back to a zero sum. And X tried to play, uh, successfully, I should say, not tried, played the sound game with him. Like, went up the jump pad, but then bounced down to the ground really quickly. It threw Violent Heart off. The rocket's not connecting here. That one does. 
LG comes out. Excellent dodge work out of Violent Heart, and all of a sudden X is uh, moving around a little bit more confidently. Plasma's not connecting for Violent Heart. Through the teleporter we go. Let's play that game. Both rails miss. Plasma's sitting there waiting for him. Can X get to the Mega Health? He can, but the LG is just too much for you. Or as Slip would say, too big for him. Okay. Violent Heart back in control again, but he gets a little bit of a rocket to the teeth. 17-2, to two, 2 minutes to go. Not looking too great for X24, but he's still fighting as if uh, the score doesn't matter, which is good. That's what we want to see. Excellent sportsmanship. Violent Heart, I think, suicided there. Yeah, that's self-damage. Oh my god, another one. Well, I guess that was fall damage this time. Shit happens. But I guess if you got a score like that, or a lead like that, I should say... Yeah, you can afford a few. Fuck up a bit. X 4 is in a perfect position for a frag here, but... He gets one, but Violent Heart gets the return rocket there post-mortem. And another good rail. <laughs> Just like that, Violent Heart has made up his score already from two suicides, right back up to 17 points. Mm, good rocket from X 4 through the pee hole. Alright, we got about 10 seconds for Mega, or rather for Red Armor. See the fight over that. Russ, uh, brilliantly decides not to go in for the fight, but is able to just stand outside the teleporter and catch X24. He was walking around with three health, and finally it came back to bite him. 4 to 19, less than a minute to go. Gonna call this Violent Hearts game, but then uh, definitely enjoy the rest of the show. See how many frags X24 can get in here. Good set of rockets there. And the hockey puck right off the spawn. Violent Heart. And another hockey puck kill. It's just playing games. It's like a cat. Playing with a lizard or a mouse. I live in Arizona, so yeah, a lizard. Good rockets here. Plasma gun. Not able to finish small for X24 comes in there and gets his final frag of the match, I'm gonna assume, because we have two seconds to go. Never mind, X24 able to put another one on the board. Good game. Surprises everyone, but as expected, Violent Heart will go to the grand final, so here we go. Zeb, you're up, bud. Come show us what you're made of. Can't wait to see this. This will be best two out of three. Zeb is in, he's ready to roll. DM15 will be our first map of the Grand Finals. Vote. 
player called a vote. Game over. This will be as interesting as it is fun, I'm sure. Zeb, certainly the veteran of the game. But he says he doesn't like this map, and since Violent Heart is incumbent, he gets to pick the first map, and if they go to a third map, we'll also pick that map. And I've seen Violent Heart have some epic duels on this very map over the last week or so. We got fairly even pings here, both in the 30s. So this is going to be really good. I'm really, like, at the edge of my seat, just waiting on them to finish warming up and start the damn match. We're tired of waiting, boys. Just put one more stamp on it right here before we go to the grand finals. Here's the event in case I decide to uh, post it like that on YouTube. And then we'll get back over to the action. Alright, who do you get? How many Canadian dollars you bet? I'm not much of a gambling man, but... If you were a gambling man. The thing is, I don't know anything about Zeb. Like, how long is he, like, a veteran for this game? Or, like, is he uh, just this game As I understand it, um... Former Warsaw, uh, you know, top-tier player. And then, also, quite a bit of CPMA, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know too much about him, only what I've heard. Apparently quite an excellent player. Well, if he used to play Warsaw, I'm going to put my money on him. Yeah, definitely a veteran of this game. Violent Heart, uh, for, un, unusual to say this, but he's not the crafty veteran here. He is the, you know, the bright-eyed, young, bushy-haired challenger. Three! Was she tailed? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Here are your grand finals. Zeb versus Violent Heart. Just like that, Zeb already has nine health in the first frag. We'll go to Violent Heart. Both of them are now going to race to their items. Red is already gone. Violent Heart staying on top of Zeb here. Able to escape through the jump pad. Zeb has no major items whatsoever. Bon Hart's already got the mega health, so he's got to wait a little while to get back. And he's got about yeah, 10 seconds until Red comes back up. 2-1. I was a little over there. Can you get to it? Yes, he can. You're going to see a lot of fights across this area right here. Like one will be on one bridge, the other will be on one, the other bridge. And the higher bridge is going to have the rocket advantage, but I think we're going to see more LG and rail across there than anything else. It's just easier to get that splash damage. Good rocket from Violent Heart. Or I should say Zeb, LG from Violent Heart. They're going to duke it out, and Violent Heart gets the heck out of dodge, comes back up the jump pad, and he's just going to dodge side to side. One to one. At one minute's in. Good LG damage from Violent Heart here is eating Zeb alive and the shotgun to finish him off. Three to one.
Good return rocket from Zeb there. He's gonna have to find some stack. Violent Heart just took red. Really nice movement from Zeb, dude. So walking around with a decent stack. He's in place here to get red. He does take it. But he doesn't have much health. Beautiful LG from Violent Heart. Zeb's still looking pretty skinny on health. We've got plenty of armor though. He's just there we go. Get the 50 health. Puts the LG on him, the rocket, the rail, everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> nice. Zeb is on the board, but a snot rocket right off for the refrag. Zeb unable to get to that red armor, which is still just sitting there. Violent Heart just picked it up. Let's go back to his perspective real quick. Nice rail. LG tickle there, not able to get the rail in. Good rocket. Violent Heart was just sitting there listening for it. Zeb with a good rail. Violent Heart with a good rail. And the LG to finish Violent Heart off. Zeb is working his way back into this. Rockets flying everywhere. A lot of self damage for Violent Heart here, but he finished him off yet again with the snot rocket. I don't know what it's really called. The gauntlet gun or some dumb shit like that. It's the snot rocket. Called the gun blade, apparently. Whatever the hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds stupid. We're gonna call it yeah. the snot rocket because that's what it's called. Oh. Yeah, it's not. Just Violent Heart didn't want that armor, or he's just gonna kind of wait until he needs it. There you go. Pick it up on the way back. Good rail right to the face. Zeb taking a lot of LG damage here. Rockets coming in, getting splashed on Violent Heart. Switch back over to Zeb here, see where he's at. He's got a fantastic looking stack here. Not so great on health, but enough armor to make up for it. I spoke too soon. Five to four, five minutes in. Zeb takes mega health, but a rocket straight to the face from Violent Heart. Not able to hit that rail. Catches him off the teleporter and puts him down. We are so... So tied up here. Five to five at five minutes. I love saying that. Seems like the, I guess the deficit was like Zeb already said he wasn't super familiar with the M15. So maybe it's just like he adapted. Took him a little bit of time. Beautiful snot rocket jump all the way to the top. Pretty minimal self damage with that. Oh, he missed the jump to red armor. Gonna, I'll go back up for it, whatever. It's still there. Takes it. Another expert move. Do a little bit of self-damage. Keep control of the armor.
Violent Heart a little bit off guard with that LG, but two rockets straight back. Adam will push Zeb away. He's going to go for red armor. Good rocket. And the LG's probably going to finish him off. The self-damage would have if it had not happened. Excellent fight. Six to five. Three minutes to go. This is only map one of your grand finals, folks. And I'm sorry about that stupid spam thing. I, I need Smango to fix that, but what he can't fix is uh, the way that that frag just went down. It was ugly. It wasn't the best fight I've ever seen, but it sure as shit worked. <laughs> six to six, man. I mean, can't, could you ask for a better, like, more evenly matched couple of guys? to go into the Grand Finals. Would have loved to see MZ, uh, NVZ in here as well, but we'll get him next time. Probably keep this, uh, just make the King of the Kill keep, but happen more often. Get that one guy Fathom in here. He's in, uh, oh, Fathom? Yeah. He's excellent, at least in Clan Arena. It's the only place I've seen him, I think. But. Zeb is not playing games here. Seven to six. Just under two minutes to go. We'll go back to Violent Heart and see what he can put together. Turned it around quickly, 8-7. to seven. Violent Heart, definitely going to need to find some kind of a stack here. More health. Five seconds to Mega. He'll be there just in time. Oh, Zeb is waiting for him with a big, big set of rockets. 8-8. Eight to eight. Don't be late. we got 24 seconds to go. And Zeb able to get a frag in there. See if Violent Heart can pull something off here. He's got 17 seconds to do it. No, it doesn't hit that rail. This is his map as well. So he's gonna have to figure something out here. Five seconds to go. Three, or win the next map two, to stay alive. One. Game over. Good game. That was an excellent match. Excellent. Let's go ahead and uh, ask Zeb what his map's going to be. Violent Heart has zero. Zeb has one. Move that over just a bit, just a tad. Make it more visible. Hmm, he says. Ah, 
How did you get muted? I didn't mute you. I have no idea. You didn't mute me. No, it's X24's oh. messaging. <laughs> a player called a vote. All right, they're gonna go to DM2. Game over. If Violent Heart can pull this off, he'll go to the Grand Finals. If not, this may be our last match. And Zeb will reign supreme. Prepare to fight. Three, two, one. Fight. You are tied for the lead. You've taken the lead. Just like that, Zeb already suicided. We're going to see this a lot, I think. And a frag for Violent Heart with a two frag lead right off the bat. Just there in time for Mega Health drops through. He's not going to go straight to red armor. He's going to opt for the yellow. 20 seconds to red. Mm. Beautiful rockets there from Zeb. Put himself back on the zero sum. And another good shot in on Violent Heart. Just like that, we're tied up just at one minute in. Good face-to-face -face yeah, rocket. Violent Heart with a return snot rocket. Can he take some health out of this? Nope, Zeb is already there. Two to two. Beautiful rail there from Zeb. So going to poke his head back out and try to get another rail, but Violent Heart's already on the move. He'll be there just in time for Red Armor. And the pucks are flying everywhere. Beautiful rail, though, man. Puts Violent Heart down. Good rocket. And Violent Heart goes down again. It's 4-2. to 5-2. to two. Zeb's just going to sit here for the next three seconds and wait for that red. Zeb not only able to get that frag in, but also able to bounce over him, take the mega health, but Violent Heart with those fucking rails, man, holy shit. All that plasma, all that rocket damage, Zeb is not, <laughs> yeah, he's not going to last long like that. Violent Heart well stacked here. Good rocket damage. Zeb, I think, hurt himself coming up, and that's going to, yeah, that's going to be that. Beautiful rail from Violent Heart, just like that. We're tied up again. What the hell? These guys are so evenly matched. You see how Violent Heart is just consistently changing the pace of the map. He started off slow, he slowed it down, got Zeb thinking he was in a good way, and then immediately he's able to turn around, speed up the pace again, and catch him off guard. He's gonna need some health though before he engages in another fight. He's got the 50. Where's the Mega at? It's up just now, but Zeb, again, with a face-down rocket, bounces him up. Wins him that fight. Shotguns everywhere. It never stops. It never stops. God damn. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of expletives, I think. Reactionary commentary, folks. I can't talk as fast as these guys are playing. Ten to seven. Yeah, for sure. Red is gone. Violent Heart took. Beautiful rail there to return the favor for him. Violent Heart's flying around like a canary. The plasma is all over the place. Zeb is going to have to reform his idea of how to play this. 35 health. Will he be here in time for Mega? Well, now it's five seconds away. 
Bottom Heart's wearing him down with this LG. And Zeb's back in place for Mega, just in time. Good rocket here. Bottom Heart goes down again. Zeb has full control of the map. Good rail. Yeah, it's really clear that Zeb is a lot more comfortable here on DM2. More classic map for a classic player. Mega's up again. Violent Heart stole it. And he's moving really, really quickly. He came back and faced with a snot rocket. He's going to be able to get that frag in on Zeb. Still got over five minutes to go. It's a really, really close match. Even still, 12 to 8. Zeb is hurt. Violent Heart gets another rocket in, but somehow flicks Violent Heart there. Oh, my goodness. It's not rocket to take down Zeb. Violent Heart needs health desperately. And that was not the route to get it. Good googly moogly. Was that a nice hockey puck? <laughs> and we're the halfway mark at 14 to 9. Yeah, like anything could happen here. Good chase rocket from Zeb there. Catch Violent Heart before he get to the red armor. Expert move. Yeah, he's going to starve him. Yeah, Violent Heart's just got to get back in control and at least one of these major items if he's going to be able to start picking Zeb off. His timing's immaculate. Three, two, one. There goes Red. Beautiful rocket there from Violent Heart. There in time for Red. Take a little bit of health. He didn't go for the 50. I'm not sure if it was up. No, it's still there. Zeb ran right through it so he can still take. It's gone. Zeb came back for that bitch. He's starving him, dude. Good attempt here to try to get some damage in. Zeb goes down. 11 to 15. We got just under 4 minutes to go. And Violent Heart's able to get another spawn frag. Is he gonna take back? Let's see. I think if Violent Heart can keep a solid stack here, he'll be okay. Zeb doesn't have rockets right now. And Violent Heart's gonna take both the Mega. He just sat there and stole it. Get out of there. Don't let Zeb rail you again, bud. That's that. Zeb looking pretty skinny. Violent Heart's able to get the refrag. Still counting towards another tie, potentially. Zeb is hurt. He's bleeding. We'll get over here. Oh, no, he's not too bad. He had a good stack of, of armor there. Keeping it real. And that's what happens when keeping it real goes wrong. Zeb right in place for mega health. And, oh, insult to injury. We'll call that the gun bleed. There was no snot involved. Zeb is really skinny right now. Perfectly in place to get fragged. Two minutes to go. Violent Heart just needs to hit him with something. A fat stack of armor. He's here just in time once again for Mega Health. That's Zeb's greatest advantage here, man. He's just really done an excellent job of staying on top of those items. Twenty to fourteen, two minutes to go. We have a bigger and bigger disadvantage for Violent Heart here, who does manage to steal this, but Mega Health is still five seconds away. Can he circle back around in time? Yes, he will. Just needs to take it. There he goes, and he gets out of dodge, just in time for those pucks to explode. A minute thirty seconds, five frag deficit here. Zeb with the advantage here. Have that rail. Good plasma. Some pucks to try to keep him at bay here. Two seconds till mega armor or heavy armor. Ten seconds till mega. Violent Heart's trying to keep it quiet. 
Oh, is that Miz where he's at? Rockets are gonna fly out here, but he's gonna take mega health. He can back out of there, come around, try to circle in, take a different fight. Gorgeous. 21 15. 40 seconds to go. I think that's GG, but both of these guys have <laughs> played like hell. Two fifteen. We're gonna get another frag here before it's over. Violent Heart staying on point, but Zeb with a flick rocket to finish him off there. Good rail from Violent Heart back. They're keeping it going all the way up to the last second. Three. Oh, good rail. Game over. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Good game. I love that. That's gonna be that. Yeah. Both of these guys are being gentlemen about it. Good games. Encouraging. Pretty incredible. There you have it, folks. That's your grand finals. I'm going to try to get Zeb to come talk to us for a little bit, if I can. Kill the theme music here. Zeb is not in voice chat. Ah, they're both gone. We'll call it a day. GG's to all. Have a good night. Much love. We'll fork you later. Yeah, have a good night, guys. Good night.